my name is Liang, and I'm currently a postdoc at Princeton University, and my research focuses on uh, using data analytics to, to study or understanding the user behaviors when they respond to different uh, pricing policies that offers to them. And uh, essentially, we study the economic interactions between the end users and the uh, service providers. Economics. So we define it as the economics of for computing. So we want to study the economics interactions between the end users and the services they received from those fog providers, and the economic consequence uh, to the end users and the fog service providers by providing uh, different uh, uh, so, uh, different services to the users, and it can also somehow. Uh, uh, drive the way that the providers uh, offers the service to the users. I think this happens every day uh, around us, and um, so it's interesting. Uh, it's interested to me to 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 reveal those uh, you know uh, hidden rules uh, behind those because you know when users you know interact with a network every day they would not realize that actually their behavior follows some, some certain 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 patterns due to different price that offers to them. But uh, from a researcher's perspective, um, if we we have all those users data together, we can use different data analytics tools. Uh, like machine learning me uh, method to reveal those uh, those hidden patterns that is not obvi obvious to, to the users. So we can recommend or um, define uh, solutions to, to them for, for, for them to better interact uh, in, in using the network resources. So as we know, that they really like uh, spend a lot of efforts on defining what for computing is and uh, to define uh, and solve the problems in fog security, uh, architecture, and manageability. And I think it's the right time for the economics to come in to make fog computing a profit, uh, profitable marketplace for the uh, for the service providers. So just like how the users use uh, mobile data plans in, in 4G and LTE and how the, how the cloud providers charge the users for, for the cloud resources, all these different types of networks and, uh, and cloud computing resources, FOG unifies these resources all together and uh, try to come up with a way to how to utilize the, the shared pool of resources in a distributed and manageable way. Uh, and then, you know, there comes the problem like uh, if the users would want to use uh, for computing uh, services, then uh, how would they to uh, how would they quantify the resources uh, and the benefit uh, from uh, from asking for how much resources and to the folk service providers and they also need to consider uh, what's the pricing policies they want to uh, charge their end users. So Basically, this, uh, these types of economic interactions between the end users and the folk service providers can also in turn um, decide how the service should be uh, deployed. Uh, like different pricing uh, policy policies can, um, can, can shape user de uh, user's demand in, in different ways. And until uh, the end of the day, then the user's demand can in turn decide the congestion in the network, and eventually it would be transformed to the quality of the service that each user would receive from the service provider. Uh, so all these complicated economics uh, interactions would need a, a model uh, a judicious business model uh, to quantify them. So that's what we are interested in. I think the message for the users is just like how they access to, to the cloud computing uh, to deal with their computation tasks. But what for benefits users is that instead of sending all the data uh, all the way uh, over the backbone network to the cloud services, what for can do is uh, by moving the clouds closer to the users, um, 
it would not only save the uh, transmission time uh, from the end users to the cloud, but also saves uh, millions of the costs on cloud storage and cloud computing.